the Boofwang UV5R radio has 40 menu settings, and that is a lot of settings. And not long ago, I made a video about every one of those 40 settings, and that video was 30 minutes long. So in this video, I will very quickly go over just the very few of those 40 menu settings that you actually need to care about if you are using your Boofwang UV5R as a regular walkie-talkie radio. However, if you are doing fancy things with your Boofwang UV5R radio, such as using repeaters, or if you're one of those ham radio know-it-alls, then this video does not apply to you, and you should stop watching now. The first of the important menu settings that you should know about your Boofwang radio, as determined by me, is menu item number two, TXP. This is the power transmit level. There is a high and a low setting, and some models also have a mid or middle setting. Setting this too low will make your battery last a lot longer. You should only set this setting to high if the person you are trying to talk with says that you're coming in weak or fuzzy. And even then, setting it too high may not do much good. The next of the important menu settings that you should care about, menu item number five, WN. This sets the radio at wideband or narrow band. It does not really matter which option you choose as long as the other radio you are talking to is set the same way. If you are talking to someone over the radio and they sound funny or they complain that you sound too low, try changing this setting. TDR. This is the dual watch setting and this turns receiving on the second channel on or off. Because as you may or may not know, the Boofwang UV5R and similar radios display two channels or frequencies at the same time. This is the A frequency and this is the B frequency. And of course, you can switch between them with the AB button. The active channel is designated by that tiny little arrow or caret right there. Channel A is active now. Channel B is active now. When TDR is set to on, you are listening to both the upper frequency and the lower frequency at the same time. That means if there are any transmissions on either of these frequencies or channels, you will hear them both. When TDR is set to off, you will now only hear transmissions from the active channel as determined by that little carrot or arrow right there. So right now we would be hearing transmissions on 462575, and now we're only hearing transmissions on 462600. For beginners, I recommend setting TDR to off so as to reduce possible confoculation. However, it is important to bear in mind that even when receiving on the second channel is disabled, in other words, when you're only listening to one frequency when TDR is off, you will still always see two frequencies on the screen. There is no way to turn the second display off, but when TDR is disabled, you are only listening to the active channel. Next on the list of important menu items that you should care about, menu item eight, beep. This sets the keypad beep noise to on or off so that every time you press a button, you will hear a beeping sound. I prefer this menu option to be on so that I get positive feedback when I press the keys. However, some people prefer that it be turned off. Menu items number 10 and 11, RCTCS and RDTCS. These are very important settings and are probably responsible for the majority of confoculation amongst users of Boofwang radios. When either of these is set to on, on the screen, you will see a very small CT, if CTCSS is enabled, or 
DCS if DCS is enabled. And if either of these is enabled on the frequency or channel that you are listening to, unless the radio that you are talking with is configured the correct way, you will never hear that radio. I have seen countless people with two radios, both on the same frequency or channel, but one of those radios cannot hear the other one, and this causes much confoculation and rage for the radio user because they cannot figure why they can't hear each other. So unless you know what you're doing, you should always have both of those options disabled. Menu options number 21 and menu 22. MDF, A, and B. These settings apply only when the radio is in channel mode. And as you probably know, you can switch between channel mode or memory mode and VFO or direct frequency mode by use of the orange button. We are now in channel mode as indicated by the two small channel numbers there and there. Menu options number 21 and 22, MDF-A and MDF-B, will determine what is displayed when you look at those channels. For example, MDF-A is currently set to display the frequency. You can change that to display the name or the channel. Now it is showing the channel number Optionally, if you have entered a name using the Chirp software in your computer, you cannot enter a name for a channel directly on the radio. You have to have a computer for that. You could display that as well. Now we can see the channel name that I have assigned using the Chirp software for MDF-A. And for MDF-B, I prefer to show the channel number. Menu option number 23. BCL. BCL does not stand for a children's football league. It stands for busy channel lockout. When menu option number 23 BCL is enabled, the radio will not allow you to transmit if the radio detects that someone else is already transmitting on that frequency. So if you want to step over your friends when they are trying to talk, be sure to set this to off. Menu item number 32. AL mod. That means alarm mode. And this setting controls what happens when you press the orange alarm button. So please, for the love of Xenu, set this to sight. This will ensure that when you or your kids accidentally press the orange alarm button, only you can hear it. Either of the other two settings, either tone or code, will make that alarm sound transmit over whatever channel or frequency the radio is currently on. And this causes much rage for anyone who might be listening. So by setting this to sight, only you will hear the alarm when you press and hold the alarm button. Menu item number 40, reset. When you screw the radio all up, use this menu option to clear everything and start over. There are two options, all or VFO, the VFO option clears only your channels, and the All option clears the entire radio, all channels, all settings, and resets everything to the factory default. And finally, the most important menu setting is menu option 39, the Roger Beep setting. Setting menu option number 39 to on will cause the radio to send a pleasant sounding tone at the end of every transmission, so that everyone knows when you're done transmitting. And remember, if anyone ever tries to tell you to turn this tone off, remind them that it is your radio and your choice of whether or not to have your Roger Beep tone enabled. And if they don't like it, they are free to go listen to something else. And my friend, those are the only menu settings that you really need to care about to get started using your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio as a walkie-talkie.